Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. A telephone conversation took place between His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Jordanian monarch, His Majesty King Abdullah II Ibn Al Hussein. During the call, good wishes were exchanged on the occasion of the blessed month of Ramadan, calling on God Almighty to bless the two countries, the brotherly people, with more progress and prosperity, and to the Arab and Islamic nations, further growth and prosperity. A telephone conversation took place between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the President of the Arab Republic of Egypt, His Excellency Abdel Fattah Al Sisi. During the call, congratulations and blessings were exchanged on the occasion of the blessed month of Ramadan, calling on God Almighty to bless the two countries and the brotherly people and with more progress and prosperity, and to the Arab and Islamic nations for their growth and prosperity. A telephone call was held between His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Dubai ruler, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. They exchanged good wishes on the holy month of Ramadan, wishing the two brotherly countries and peoples, as well as the Arab and Islamic nations, many happy returns and further growth and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa exchanged cables of good wishes with Their Majesties, Excellencies and Highnesses, the leaders of the brotherly and friendly Gulf, Arab and Islamic countries and the advent of the holy month of Ramadan. His Majesty the King prayed to Allah the Almighty to bless them with all abundant health and happiness, wishing the countries many happy returns on the blessed occasion. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations and good wishes from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the advent of the holy month of Ramadan. In the cable, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince extended his heartfelt good wishes to His Majesty the King on this happy occasion, praying to Allah the Almighty to protect His Majesty the King, wishing the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Arab and Islamic nations many happy returns. In reply, His Majesty the King sent a cable of good wishes to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister on the occasion, praying to Allah the Almighty to protect His Royal Highness, wishing the Kingdom of Bahrain, the Arab and Islamic nations many happy returns. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Amman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, exchanged cables of good wishes on the occasion of the blessed month of Ramadan with Their Majesties, Excellencies and Highnesses leaders of the brotherly Gulf Arab and Islamic countries and heads of governments. His Royal Highness expressed happiness and offered wishes for their good health and happiness, calling on God Almighty to bless these countries and their peoples. The Supreme Council of Health held a dialogue seminar on the experimental implementations of the project for self-management of primary health care centres in Maharak Governorate. This was part of the Council's efforts to communicate with the public about the latest developments in the healthcare development project in the Kingdom of Bahrain. In a discussion session, a Chairman of the Supreme Council of Health, Lieutenant General, a Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, praised the efforts made by the medical and health staff during the COVID-19 pandemic, stressing that they achieved success is thanks to the wise vision of His Majesty, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, and the follow-up of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and the Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah indicated that the Council is in the process of implementing various projects under the umbrella of the National Health Insurance to upgrade health services in the Kingdom and improve the quality of services provided in a manner that ensures freedom of choice and sustainability, thus creating a spirit of competition among service providers in the interest of the country and the citizen. The Chairman of the Supreme Council of Health indicated that the application of self-management in primary health care centres will launch the Choose Your Doctor programme, which will enhance the role of the family doctor to be the first station in receiving treatment services and enhance the concept of continuous treatment. For his part, Dr Walid al Manai stated that the role of the Ministry of Health in the new programme will be a supervisory role concerned with providing public health services and health education. The Ministry will also provide mental health services and long-stay services to be an essential partner in the health system.
Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism and Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Bahrain Tourism Authority, BTEA, Zayed bin Rashid Al Ziani, has affirmed that the unprecedented success of the current session of Food Festival demonstrated the recovery of the tourism sector in the Kingdom of Bahrain and reflected the sector's ability to restore and even surpass pre-pandemic performance and growth rates. The Minister noted that this achievement pr proved once again the success of the government's policies in supporting and developing this sector. He stated during the conclusion of the food festivals that the current edition had a large turnout and was the biggest of its kind compared to the previous six sessions, whether in terms of the number of participating restaurants or the number of visitors from citizens, residents and tourists. He noted in this regard the significant role played by the participating restaurants and the rich programme of events in the success of the event. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism also acknowledged that the effects of recovering from the pandemic were visible in the hotel and restaurant sector in the Kingdom of Bahrain. We saw a real increase of 31.66% and 39.82% at current prices in the fourth quarter of 2021 compared to the fourth quarter of 2020, according to the statistics issued by the Information and E-Government Authority. The Royal Foundation for Humanitarian Works launched its Ramadan campaign, People of Maruf, which aims to strengthen community partnership between all components of Bahrain society and meet the needs of those who deserve it. The Secretary General of the Royal Institution for Humanitarian Action, Dr Mustafa Al Sayed, indicated that the campaign aims to collect donations during the holy month to support and meet the needs of families, in addition to supporting projects that serve orphans, widows and needy families in the community. He stressed that the Foundation is keen on social solidarity to include the various segments of Bahraini society. The campaign continues throughout the holy month of Ramadan, where donations can be made by visiting the website of the Royal Foundation for Humanitarian Works. Donation points are also available in all malls, in addition to the possibility of donating through the benefit application or through text messages. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,233,328 taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,216,964 had taken the second, and 975,364 had taken the booster dose. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 6,493 with 1,000 recoveries, 534 registered new cases and no deaths. There are 16 active cases receiving treatment and four patients in a critical condition. Bahrain has recorded 1,471 total deaths while 547,039 have recovered from the virus. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.